Woo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're ahead of the auction. When I was online today, this morning, looking at the auctions website, there's a llama. A giant freaking llama. Oh, I see him. Oh, you see him? Oh, see him. <laughs> what happened? What up, buddy? Dude, I am down. I want Dude, this. He's thing. so soft. Yeah, he is super soft. soft. Oh, look how nice he is. Oh. Fun fact, we actually had two separate gentlemen at the auction that said that this llama killed somebody two weeks ago. Like, the first guy that was right... Is that true? Really? What was the guy's name? He just probably deserved it. I wouldn't like that name either. You want to come hang out? You want to meet Steve? He's kind of like you. He's a little smaller. Look, he's cuddling you, man. He likes me. You guys are bonding right now. Look at him. He's so cute. You I'm cake. so glad we bought this guy. Come on, buddy. Oh, snap. We got a llama. Oh, gosh, dude, that thing's huge. <laughs> It is. The sheep are not a fan of this new. Hey, quit chasing, <laughs> quit chasing the sheep. You guys kind of look the same. Eh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just that's me. I'm just uh oh, him and him and Steve have met. He's sniffing his nuts. Steve, he's making sure you have nuts. Well, actually, he's making sure you do, you do have nuts and don't have a the other thing because otherwise, this thing's about to mount you. Uh oh, uh oh, it loves Steve. It loves Steve. Oh God. Watch yourself. <laughs> well, this turned not good, folks. I it, we're, we're getting to the end of the vlog. About to wrap it up. I literally wish I was like, let's just get, get a couple more scenes of the animals interacting. And whew, there's blood There's blood on his face. You, you see it? So the last scene you guys saw was it kind of chasing everything and it, it was all in fun. There was no issues. Um, I had turned the camera off. Macy actually jumped in. She was, I told her to come down and meet the, meet the llama because I thought he was nice. And basically he started chasing Steve, which we kind of assumed, you know, llamas, alpacas, they're the similar, they're similar and they're both males, which I know like you might be thinking, oh, you can't have two males together. But the thing is, is like everything I read about llamas, alpacas, everybody I talked to said, as long as there's not a female llama slash alpaca present, there's no issues with two males. Cause when we bought Steve, we almost bought another male. And when we talked to the people there, they were like, it's fine until you get a female. Once you get a female, you gotta get rid of one of the males. I don't even know what happened. Like they were literally chasing each other or I wouldn't say each other. He was chasing Steve, the alpaca, and I don't even know, like, I think he, like, tackled him because, like, Steve wasn't, Steve was running away from him just in a slight gallop, but, like, pretty much the llama, like, hit him down to the ground and bit on its back leg. So, like, if this was Steve, it would be, like, easy, easy. See, now I'm scared of you. It would have been, like, right, just, like, the in the chunk, like, right here, bit down into Steve and like crunched and locked. Like we heard it go I immediately dropped the camera. I ran, I jumped on top of the llama and I had him by the neck and I was trying to not choke him out, but just get him off. And he was locked on like I've never seen. Bonzo came help. I'm sitting here smacking it, trying to get it off. Finally got him to let go. And I held the, I basically held the llama down while Steve, Steve limped away. I don't even know where Steve is. Is he behind? He's over there. He's over there. Where is he? He's the oh, he's over there. He's eating. Steve can't walk on his right leg now and blood is dripping from here. I mean, like puddles on the ground. So we called the vet, the vet's on the way. They'll be here in like 10 minutes. <sighs> wow, what did I be, I can't think of a single video where I've had such a change in emotion on camera where it's like, everything was happy. This thing was chill, loving everybody. Like I even brought Macy down. Cause I'm like, listen, we know this thing's chill now. It's fine. And it had already met Steve. As you guys saw, like it met Steve, it met everybody. Like it was chasing everything around, but I figured it was just trying to figure everything out. And it tried to kill Steve. Like, I'm not going to say like it was wrestling. We've seen Rick try to fight with its horns it tried to 1000 percent kill steve i mean it locked onto steve and steve was screaming i mean just bad like just screaming like crazy and i jumped on top and i could not get him off like he was he wouldn't let go it wasn't just like a, a quick little cat fight where the cats just rah, rah, at each other like the llama literally would not let go until i literally yanked it off there and i was hitting it so hard that it let go i've never had to do that before i've never had to break up a fight between animals that is not something i ever want to do again this is not good. This is not good. We're gonna wait for the vet. I don't, I'm not leaving. We, we rebuilt this fence, reinforced it, so nothing can get to this side. I mean, we put an extra T post, zip ties, wire. We wired it all shut. Nothing should be able to get to here. So right now the llama is hanging out by himself. Um, and I mean, we're basically on babysit duty. 
make sure he doesn't hop the fence, break a fence, get out. It's it's crazy. Like I I was trusting this thing. Me and Bonds like we were both right next to it, hanging out, and I don't think it would attack a human. But then that goes back to the story. We were I joking. I can't believe it. Though. And like, like his grip with his mouth, like it. It was bad. Like, if he grabbed onto your neck, you oh, would die. You I was dead. scared to open his mouth because yes. I thought he was going to, like... Bite me. your hand off. Yeah, like... And it's, like I said, it's not a joke. I can't, I, I can't, unfortunately, I can't... Look at, oh, poor Steve. He's laying down. You guys can't see him over there. I We're, we're not going to show you Steve until the vet gets here because when the vet gets here, we're going to have to wrangle Steve to give him the vaccinations. They said they're going to give him um, an antibiotic and some painkillers and stuff. It didn't, like, it didn't look like he was going to bleed out, but he's just definitely not in good condition. So we're not going up to Steve right now because we don't want to stress him out. We're going to let him chill and the vet should be here in like 20 minutes. They're going to basically come and do that. And well, I don't know what to do with this guy. Now, I know it, it could be just a dispute between the llama and the alpaca in which you got to make the decision. Which one do you get rid of or which one do you separate, which is fine. No big deal. But the problem is seeing how aggressive that thing was and i mean when i say aggressive like we've seen felicia the donkey get pissed and it is nothing that was looking for blood looking to kill aggression it wasn't just like a i'm pissed here's my horns here's my back hoof it chased steve down tackled steve and bit him and was holding him down until he died until i don't even know i mean it's just whew. I'm worked up. See, I've never experienced anything like that. I've never seen anything like that in my life. I've never seen livestock kill one another. I mean, I've heard of males fighting. That wasn't males fighting. He tried to kill Steve. I don't know what to do. I mean, I, I don't even trust this fence though. I like, no. if he wants to go jump over the fence and kill Steve, I think our only solution is to put him in Rick's pen, turn on the electric fence in hopes that he'll be, cause there's already food and water over there. He'll be fine. And I mean, I just don't trust him. We have, I, there's no way, even, even though I don't like Rick that much, I don't want to see Rick die. I don't want to see any of the sheep, Karen, Karen's baby, Buttercup, Snickers, or Oreo, or the two donkeys, or Dale, or Carol. I don't want to see any of them die, ever. And I just don't trust this thing now. Put Carol in here and see, like, <laughs> if it's chill. I, the thing is, I couldn't. I don't think I could break up a fight between Carol and. Yeah, but I don't think that's the problem. I don't think Carol, Carol's big enough to fight. I back. think so too, I but I don't. She's too nice to fight back. That's, yeah. I, yeah, I don't know what it is. I'm, again, I'm sure it's just a male male thing. Even though they're not the same breed, I know they're close. It just. Uh, God, that sucked. That and like it's just, yeah, like we were talking earlier. Like you can literally see blood on his face. Like I, we can't show that with YouTube, but it's we're not lying. We're not making this up for anything. Like you guys are gonna see the vet and operate on on Steve here in a minute. It's getting dark. We need food. <laughs> what a long day. Well, I'll pick the camera up. I guess when the vet gets here. Uh, somebody come on this side with me. Okay. And we'll just lift him up. Okay. And we'll lay him down on his side. Okay. Okay. I'll take the back. You okay. go to the you front. Because I want. There it is, right there. You're all right, Steve. Yeah, you got, he got you good, bud. He got you good, buddy. Yeah, that's real deep. That's tough looking. He got you good, bud. I know. <laughs> all right, dude. Well, not real bad. Real, I mean, it looks, it looks off. I'm gonna clean it up. Okay. I'm gonna put two big stitches in it. Okay. Then Do you think if away. the alpaca is not anywhere near him that he would attack any of the other animals? I'll bet he attacked the alpaca because he looks like him. And yeah. they're both and males. They're both males. And the reason he bit his legs is because he's trying to bite his nuts off. Really? Yeah. Really? That's a thing. That's a thing. I, we should just you see. Him, right? You yeah. see that thing right there? <laughs> yeah. If he'd have cut that, I wouldn't even have made it here. Are you serious? That's really? That's ephemeral. Wow. Order. You got a good grip? Yep. You got a lot of pressure? Yep, we're good now. He's not going to like this. That's a big needle. Go for it. <laughs> it's okay, oh. buddy. <laughs> 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 give, give a little sigh. Okay, so I'm going to leave this a little bit open to drain. Okay. All right. There you go, bud. You're all right. Steve. You're all right. There you go. Wow. Unbelievable. You guys, see, for any of you guys that thought we were hyping up for the video, I mean, vet came, stitched it up. He said, I mean, it cut the skin around. Did you catch the name of the artery or did I? Or Something, something you guys you guys heard it either way that artery it was exposed there was no skin over it and it was just sitting there if that llama would have sunk a teeth in it he said it would have been dead before basically steve would have been dead before we he even got here he said that he serviced a, ho a horse like last week i think and same thing it cut itself and it cut in the same area and it was dead before he even got there so like we were very very close to le losing steve i mean Extremely close. So for now, we like I said, we reinforce the fence. I don't think the llama wants to kill Steve that bad. Fun thing that the vet said, what, no, I shouldn't say fun, but I guess interesting thing the vet said is, since they're both males and they both have nuts, the llama was trying to rip off, let that sink in, rip off the nuts on Steve. I mean, and he was close. He was on the, in, if you guys saw it, he was like, we had his leg up, he was spread eagle, he was right on the inner thigh. I mean, <laughs> I'm just glad he didn't. I'm just glad he didn't. What happened? If he would have, I, I mean, that would have been, been blood everywhere, nuts everywhere. That wouldn't have been good for anybody. But I mean, wow. 
and like some of you guys might be thinking, well, yeah, dumbass, why would you put two males together? Listen, like I said, I did tons of research. I talked to people that have alpacas all across the country, other YouTubers and stuff that are actually really well educated. And every single one of them said two males are fine as long as you don't have a female. Well, listen, I don't know if this llama thought all the sheep were female and that Steve was a male. Well, he is a male. And that this thing is a sheep. I don't know what it identifies as. But that was hell. That was terrible. Um, Steve's going to be all right, though. He stitched him up. He clean Basically, he cleaned it, stitched it. And basically, the, the vet's like, it's going to get infected, but it shouldn't have any problems if he's limping real bad or not eating. Call him, and then we can do more. But like he just basically did what is enough to call it good for the night. Um, big shout out to you for coming out. I mean, as you can see, it's getting dark on a weekend. I mean, this is crazy that he even came out. Um, he was that close by. So that was fortunate because otherwise, I mean, who knows how long it would have taken for Steve to either bleed out or, or get infected or whatever. So we're going to throw a bale of hay in. He's got water. Um, if anyone wants a llama, you guys, uh, you guys let me know because we've got one for sale apparently. I don't think it's possible to have both. And I, I mean, I, honestly, I like the llama a lot. But seeing that aggressive an animal, I'm just not about it. He's a cool character. He's chill. He's nice to us. I just don't want something that aggressive. That's like, that's like being the Tiger King having some freaking tigers around here. It's like it's cute until one of them kills you. Same thing. It's cute to have a llama until it freaking kills you. Oh. Shoo! Alright folks, well it's the next day, um, it is time to get rid of this thing. As you guys saw, it did not go well, and uh, well, it, the fence worked. Millie, be careful Millie. The fence worked, see it's, it's still sitting on this side. What are you doing you man eating SOB? Come here. Hey, you like humans I think. Hey, you leave Steve alone. Leave Steve alone. See Steve? Steve's over there minding his own freaking business. He actually isn't limping that bad today, so that's that's a good thing. Oh yeah, see? He's walking fine. I mean, he's got maybe it's a hair of a limp, but not bad. But this thing, it needs to go. It is time for this thing to go. Luckily, the fence held up, um, and we haven't had any major issues. Um, but we got to get rid of this thing. Bottom line, this thing is just it's just dangerous. And we got we got hooking in case mm -hmm. we got to wrestle this thing again. That's why we got this guy. I also might have a pew pew right here, potentially, just in case if things get real. Hey! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Rick! Rick! Oh shoot! Rick just busted that fence. Rick, you realize what's gonna happen if this freaking llama gets on the other side? If he literally just busted that entire fence. What the hell, Rick? All right, llama. You just keep doing llama things over there. You don't hop the fence. Ride him first. Hooking, you want to ride him? He's nice. You don't, you don't want to? How are our turkeys doing? I bet, yep, your water's frozen. Oh, you guys want some water? All right, we need to refill their water. It's, can you believe? Right now, it's supposed to be like bed fishing season and their water's freezing. It's absolutely unreal. So we got to go through, give everything food and water. But priority number one today is to get rid of this llama. We got to take, we're going to take it back to where we bought it, the auction house. I talked to them. Um, they said basically I can bring it back. They'll keep it alive and feed it and stuff until the next auction. So we don't have to worry about it killing, killing any of these animals. But Steve, you all right, Steve? You all right, buddy? Dale, Dale, what the hell, Dale? Rick, I saw you fight Dale earlier. You calm down. Hook, are you gonna try to ride this thing? You wanna give it one last yeehaw? One last yeehaw. All right. Yeah, let's we'll do it. All right, well, let's go in and ride it then. All right, let's go. You all right, my guy? It's okay. No, leave. Hey, Le Steve is not doing nothing. Look at him. He's trying to find Steve. Leave Steve alone. I guess we're gonna we're just gonna go hang out with it for a bit. Hook and, I guess Hookin wants to ride this llama. I don't know how well that'll go. And then we've got to back this trailer up, get it loaded up, somehow get it in the trailer without dying, and uh, get rid of this thing. We gotta take it home. We gotta take it back where we got it from. It can be for somebody else's home. And some of you guys might be thinking, well, why would you? Why would you? Si What a weird donkey. You guys might be thinking, why would you try to sell this thing with it being such a problem? Thing is, a lot of people use llamas for guard animals, which this thing would do great, as long as you don't have another llama or an alpaca nearby. But if you had just a bunch of cows and you wanted to protect it from coyotes, I think this guy would do a phenomenal job. So I want to pass him on to the next family, um, as long as they know, you know, what they're getting themselves into, like we didn't. Hey, buddy. Hey, why don't you just leave Steve alone? If you would just leave Steve alone, hey, don't you turn on Melly. If you leave Steve alone, we'll keep you. But after seeing that last night, we can't. This thing's a freaking man-eating flesh thirsty guy. I don't know. What, bloodthirsty? Bloodthirsty flesh eating. Man-eating. Llama. All right, Hogan, go ahead and jump on. He said I'm going first. Austin's going to give it. Give oh, her really? A oh, so you got to. We got to have to TikTok it. <laughs> okay, all right, we're getting TikToks. By the way, if you guys want to follow me on TikTok, it'll be linked down below. It's Beefcake Flare on TikTok. We're killing the TikTok grind right now. But we're going to see if Bonzo can ride this llama. You ready? Giddy up! <laughs> Giddy up! <laughs> I did it! Look. I'm riding the llama! <laughs> I'm also really scared! <laughs> now you're chilling, look at him! He he's, chill. he's chilling, give him a kick in the ass so he can no. start running, come on! Start, no. start running! No! Come on, llama! You move! What are you doing, bud? Oh, Go God! Oh, ah. God! Oh. I don't like this! I don't like this! 
Oh, I'm doing good. <laughs> no, I haven't fallen yet. No, wait, Boss is riding llama. Woo! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Chill. Dude, it loves it. Maybe this is what it did in its previous life. Yeah, Just, I guess so. We should ride it down to the pond, take it fishing. Maybe not. I no. cannot believe you're riding no. a llama right now. I can't believe you let me get him on yeah. real quick. Come on, Dude, let's go. Yeah! Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Move. What was that motion? <laughs> Can I get that again? Dude, he's chilling. Alright, I'm gonna get off before I die. All right. Yeah, you'll be alright. Alright, Hookin, you got it. Alright, here we go. Oh! <laughs> oh, Rick, do not bust this fence, please. <laughs> get it on, buddy! Come on! Yeah! Come on, llama! Get him, llama! <laughs> Dude, this guy loves it. He's chilling. Look at him. Why don't we just release uh, Steve real quick and, and have him chase Steve with hooking on him? That'd be good. Come on. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Come on. Ah! <laughs> he ain't riding. Like that. Yeah, you got. You need spurs on your boots, my guy. I cannot believe this llama is actually letting him ride this. This is insane. He's just standing here. He don't care. He's like, can you just get the hell off of me? <laughs> yeah. 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 You keep doing that. Keep doing that. He'll get horny. All right, hooking. Good job, my guy. I can't believe you did it. You. You. He's look at. He's chilling now. He just didn't want to ride with you on him. That was pretty much. He just kind of took off when you were on. Yeah, he, he it's a little did. scary. Hey, look, we ride the we rode the llama, Bill's and uh, dude, I wish this thing didn't try to kill Steve because how sick would it be just to take the llama for for walks? You know, just jump on it and rip down to the pond, go fishing, go check your traps. Taking my llama to check the traps. You know what I mean? Fire titles out here, but it ain't gonna happen. Look, even Rick don't he don't care about Rick. Look, Rick's trying to box him. It's just Steve. The only thing he cares about. If Steve, now you might be thinking, well, why don't you just get rid of Steve? Steve's no G, we can't get rid of Steve. Also, just like seeing how vicious this thing is, is like, eh, it's a little scary. I mean, right now it's Steve, well, what happens if you get rid of Steve? Then next thing it's Rick, next thing it's the cow, next thing it's one of the babies. I know these things aren't like straight up killers, but I mean, he kind of gave off that vibe a little bit, not gonna lie. So we're gonna go ahead and back up the trailer. We're gonna try to get him loaded up. We gotta take him back and uh, we're gonna go sell him, sell him at the auction because he's just... He's chill with humans and he's chill with a lot of the other animals, but just seeing what he did to Steve, I just just can't do it. I can't have that type of risk and liability. I would like to maybe get a female llama at some point. Maybe they're a little bit more calm. If you guys know anything about llamas, maybe it's like, yeah, 100% if there, since there's a male and another male alpaca, it's just not a good idea. But, you know, if, if you guys know if female llamas are chill, then maybe we'll get one of those. But let's uh, see if we can get this thing loaded up in the trailer. Let's go. This way. This way. Ow, you fucking hurts. Bonds of the llama wrangler. Come on. <laughs> Friends. Yeah, there we go. See? Look at this. Come on, in the trailer. Ah, come on. Come on. That's all right, Frank goes. It's okay. Get in there. See, Rick's in there. He's chilling. One, on, two, three. Come on. Come on. Come on, llama. Easy. Easy. Come on. One, two, three. Come on. Get up in there. Come on. Get up. Come on, Tina. Get in there. <laughs> Uh, it's so heavy! Uh, Rick, I don't think you're helping. Uh, push, 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 push! Hey guys, ne note to self, don't buy anything that three beefcakes can't handle. Wow. That was brutal. I mean, we're, what if it fought back? Oh. Like spit, oh. kick, bit? Wow, I don't even know. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how I didn't get pissed. I thought for sure he was about to have this yeah. like fight or flight moment we were all gonna die. Yeah. We got him in. We need to take him to a new home. Shoo! All right, folks, well, we got Buddy. Well, he got through the gate. We must not have locked. Oh, we didn't lock it. Yeah. Remember we had that chain around it? Well, that's good. I mean, at least he's closer. You ready to uh, get, get rehomed? Hopefully they like you better than we liked you, but all right, let's see how he, does, how he does here. Oh, yeah. Oh, easy peasy. Look at that guy. He's chilling. That was a lot easier to get him out than in. Well, there you have it, folks. That was the most short-lived farm. Is that what you were trying to say? Yeah, short-lived. The most yeah. short-lived farm animal we have <laughs> ever. How many, days was, how many days did we have? One. One we day. had him one day. One day that guy lasted. Um, hey, you win some, you lose some, folks. We were talking to the uh, the gentleman here 
He was helping us unload it. Shout out to you, uh, by the way. You and your family are awesome. They own this. They own the auction house, and they're always super nice to us. And they're letting us basically. They're gonna take care of the llama well, since we can't really. They don't. They're just gonna keep them here, keep feeding them for like the next week until they get auctioned off. So big shout out to you guys. You guys are helping us out. You're keeping Steve alive essentially. You're you're his savior at this point. But um, hey, you win some, you lose some. These guys here that own this though, they actually breed llamas. And so we were talking to them, and they're like, Yeah, we've never seen anything like that. I mean, this dude's nuts. But they do breed them. And so I told him, I said, Hey, if you guys have have a llama that is pregnant and, and births a female llama, let me know. Because I would like to try it again. Llamas are dope. I mean, you saw as we jumped on, we rode it a little bit. I mean, besides Steve, the thing was pretty chill. But if you get a female, well, then Steve might be trying to do Steve things, which is okay. That's better than, you know, the llama trying to eat Steve, I guess. So we might try it again here soon. Um, if, if, and maybe if you guys are around this area, around the Omaha area, and you guys got llamas for sale that don't try to kill other animals, you guys let me know. Because I would like to get a llama. I think they're pretty dope. Um, kind of, a, they're kind of beefcakes. Uh, you know, they kind of, they beat up on us just a little bit, but it wasn't too terrible. But we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. We are actually headed off right now to go buy a different animal. One that will hopefully not try to eat freaking Steve. So you guys have to stay tuned to the next episode. Um, and if you guys enjoyed this, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, I mean, it was kind of one of those like, oh shit moments. You know what I mean? It wasn't really like a, it wasn't a good video or a good moment. Um, but hey, I'm here to document it all for you guys. I want you, oh, I gotta wear a seatbelt before I die. Click it or tick it, you know what I'm saying? All right, so we're good. Uh, we're all strapped here. We don't wanna break the law. I always, always wear a seatbelt. I always wear a seatbelt. I just kind of forgot since I was talking to you guys. Anyways, um, like I said, I'm here to document everything for you guys. You win some, you lose some. If you guys got any farming tips, you let me know because your boy, you know, doesn't know much about anything. But like I said, we're gonna go head off. We're gonna head now to go buy some new farm animals. I will catch you guys on the next episode. Remember, if you guys wanna get like this sick hoodie, hat, including baits or anything else fishing related, it'll be linked down below. Go to goonsquad.com and use promo code FLAIR to get 15% off your purchase. Thank you so much for watching and peace.